thing that they did. I want to thank Mayor Anthony Williams and the entire District of Columbia City Government, the Smithsonian Institution, the National Park Service, and the National Park Foundation. And I want to thank the many members of Congress uh, who have joined us uh, this evening as well. Uh, this has been a labor of love by many, many people that came out of the original idea that the President and I had that we should mark this passage of time. And we began more than two years ago with Save America's Treasures and Millennium Trails and Millennium Green to plant trees in our country and to encourage people to think of their own histories. And it was all under the theme of honoring the past and imagining the future. And the President, uh, who is leading us into this new century, uh, is very fortunate that he can look out at our land and see so many blessings that so many Americans have helped to create. And it is my great pleasure to introduce the President of the United States.
that elucidate the infinite, soon to be complete, blueprint for human life itself. And they will see that this moment was earned through a passion for creativity. National power may spring from economic and military might, but the greatness of the nation emanates from the life of the mind and the stirrings of the soul. So many of you have contributed to that greatness, and we are all grateful. In this century, American artists of the page and the canvas, the stage and screen, have drawn from our diverse palette of cultural traditions and given the world a great gift of uniquely American creations with universal and timeless appeal. The new century and the new millennium will bring a cascade of new triumphs. We see new hope for peace and lands for devil by ancient hatreds. New technologies both opening the storehouse of human knowledge for people across the globe and offering the promise of alleviating the poverty that still haunts so many millions of our children. We see scientists rapidly approaching the day when newborns can expect to live well past 100 years, and children will know cancer only as a constellation of stars. But by far, my most solemn prayer for this new millennium is that we will find somehow the strength and wisdom in our hearts to keep growing together, first as one American, and then as one people on this ever smaller planet we all call home. If you look at the glowing diversity of race and background that illuminates America's house on this evening, a vivid illustration we see that human capacity is distributed equally across the human landscape. I cannot help but think how different America is, how different history is, and how much better. Because those of you in this room and those you represent were able to imagine, to invent, to inspire. And by the same token, I cannot help but dream of how much different and how much better our future can be if we can give every child the same chance to live up to his or her God-given potential and to live together as brothers and sisters, celebrating our common humanity and our shared destiny. This is the future I hope every American will take a moment to imagine on this millennial evening. This is the future I pray we can all join together to build. So I ask you to join me in a toast to yourselves, to the first lady, and to our. Thank you very much.